Today, happy holidays makes the transition to many happy returns. <laughs> the International Council of Shopping Centers says this year's holiday sales should be the strongest in three years. And today, many people hit the stores to spend those gift cards or exchange those not so perfect presents. This makes it the second busiest shopping day of the year. Caroline Tucker is live at Tyson's Corner Center with more on the rush to return. Yeah, Maureen, we've been here at Tyson's Corner Center for the last five hours, and we have just continued to see the crowds grow and grow out here at the mall. The lines outside just to get into the parking lots. Parking spaces are at a high premium at this hour, but you know, people are just trying to get whatever deals they can to cash in, and retailers are liking what they see. It's Christmas every day inside of A Christmas to Remember. The Tyson's Corner Center shop relies on the holiday traffic. We had a stampede at 8 o'clock this morning for people for villages. And um, that lasted about two and a half, three hours. Those villages are a Christmas collector's dream. Prices slashed in half. This year's been good. It's been very good. It's, um, it's coming back up to where it was, say, five years ago, four years ago. The National Retail Federation projects holiday sales to grow more than 4% this season. The last time that happened was in 2011. It's been a good holiday for 10-year-old Caleb Mount. Legos and Star Wars stuff and toys. Dad didn't mind. The economy seems to be doing better. Things look up for once. Uh, just judging from the number of people in the mall today. Experts will point to better credit, low gas prices, and more cash in people's pockets. Retailers are hoping to lure the customers a day after the holiday. Discounts galore, gift cards, and cash in people's hands. It's my time to shop for myself. Basically, we went where they had their their coupons, and so we got those. Some holiday shoppers decided not to splurge on just themselves. The better economy also has meant a bit more giving. I did not. I actually donated more this year. For stores, though, the real measure will be counting the profit after the holiday rush. And it's not just the shopping malls, but online sales are also expected to go up as well. Shop.org released its projections for November and December during the holiday season. It expects an 8 to 11 percent growth for sales there as well. Live tonight at Tyson's Corner Center, Caroline Tucker, ABC 7 News.